Today I'm doing a demonstration between traditional soft plastics and Z-Man's Elastec soft plastics. I'm going to demonstrate how I Texas rig my soft plastics with the traditional plastics and Elastec and show you how it reacts in the tank that I have for you today to show you the underwater action. I'm also going to demonstrate the finesse bullets jig heads and the snake lock articulated swimming jig heads. I hope you enjoy the video. Marsh Martian, out! Our first demonstration is going to be the traditional soft plastic worm, 4 inch. We're going to see how that reacts in the tank and see how, you know, what, what kind of good action it gives us. So let's see. The fall is pretty good. Got a decent fall. I like the fall. Actually, the tail stands up a little bit, doesn't sink completely. That's not bad. Keep it moving, it does stand up a little bit. That's not too bad. All right, well, let's try some Elastec compared to this traditional PVC. All right, next we got the hula stick. Z-Man hula stick. All right, let's see how it performs in the water. Z-Man Elastec. Now that's a two-odd hook. Same setup I just had in the plastic worm and that's on Texas rig so similar to the Ned rig almost but just Texas rig that way it's weedless this is like one of my favorite ways to to fish a bait right now especially the hula stick and a lot of Z-Man products uh, last tech is so buoyant you do it like it's supposed to be the right size hook with the hula sticks, with the four inch, I find uh, I use a Gamakatsu two art G lock, and it's light enough and durable enough to hold a fish and also make the bait float. If you go a little heavier hook, uh, you will make it sink a little bit more. But that compared to regular plastic is what I love because it's in a feeding feeding position, and it falls much slower. And that's Texas rig. Almost looks like the Ned rig, but weedless. All right, next up, got a crawfish. Traditional soft plastics. I'm not trying to talk about any name brand products or anybody, diss anybody or anything. Just showing the test of the plastics, the difference with the last tech and soft plastics. So this crawfish, we're going to see. Keep it moving. If it balances on the hook a little bit, it'll stay up. But that's not that pretty to me. Yeah, I'm not too hot on that. I guess if a bass is starving, you throw it around, you know, he'll hit it. All right. Enough of that. All right, next up is the punch craw. My favorite color, Okeechobee craw, and I dyed the claws. All right, let's see how it works, how it responds. And that's like, I think that's a four odd hook. <laughs> that's three or four, I can't tell. It was on the pole already. But I think it's a fort. Yeah, see how it stands up? I like how the arms move. If I was to peg that weight, it would, it would, it would stay down like that, but still in a defensive posture to make it look like it's defending itself so the bass will come get it. And then you can swim it. So 
That's that last tech for you right there. All right, next we have traditional salt plastic lizard. Let's see how it reacts in the water. The appendages move all right. Swims pretty good. And it just falls flat. Yeah, I'm not big on that. Now we got a Z-Man Elastec Lizard. Let's see the difference between this lizard and the last lizard. Yeah, it falls way slower. I love about how it stands up and floats look like it's feeding if a bass sees that lizard right now dancing in its nest trying to eat eggs you know what's gonna happen so it's not laying flat like the traditional soft plastic I prefer this me I just love that I always look like something's feeding me about the finesse bullet jig heads I think they're pretty cool certain circumstances when you're fishing small profile baits you know they work pretty good for like a weedless Ned rig setup it still kind of stands up even though it doesn't have a mushroom bottom, it looks like it's feeding. That's what I love about these plastics. Even with different type of jig heads, they might make them on an angle, but it, it, it looks like it's feeding. These jig heads, bullet jig heads, really work good for the smaller profile baits if you want to fish them weedless. Now we have a traditional soft plastic flute bait. Let's see how it forms. Uh, it lays down. Got a nice good darting action when you pop it, but it's that trying to balance itself a little bit, but yeah. It lays down too much for me. Then it tears so easy, you'll go through a pack of them. Compare it to the streaks with the last tech, yeah, it'll last a lot, lot longer. Next, this is gonna be about a snake lock articulated swimming jig head. Something new I just got from Z-Man. It's pretty good swivel jig head. Let's see how it performs. That's an eighth of an ounce. But that's a lot of metal. But that bang stick is still floating. Look like it's feeding. I love that. That's gorgeous. Find your bigger fish. Average size bass will hit it too, believe it or not. Especially with the spring coming up, that's gonna be deadly. I like to fish this jig head on this and the uh, Z-Man fatties. Especially with a bigger bait, looking for bigger fish. Yeah, this is a good jig head to use. Totally weedless. All right, next, 
Got the Z-Man's fattest. I think this is the seven and a, seven and a half inch or something. It's a big old worm, but you want to catch a bigger fish, you got to try something. Let's see how this reacts in the water. Oh yeah. Ooh, good action on that. Stands up every time. Feeding position. Z-Man fatties, y'all. This in the bang stick is two of my favorite baits. Stick baits, worm type baits that I like to fish. Oh yeah. That's my tank test on a few products. Traditional soft plastics versus Elastec. Y'all have a great day.